application of the same erroneous American strategy that began six years ago, one of providing all forms of assistance to what the United States called moderate armed uh, opposition groups. This strategy harms uh, uh, counterterrorism by the Syrian Arab army and its partners. It makes the United States of America a partner of ISIL and Jabhat al-Nusra and other terrorist groups that since day one of the unjust war against Syria have attacked uh, army positions and military bases as well as uh, the infrastructure. Let me recall in this council that the United States of America leads a purported alliance against ISIL. However, the real achievement uh, of uh, that coalition is to kill civilians and to strike at infrastructure in Syria. Its real objective is to weaken the Syrian Arab army and its allies when confronting terrorist groups. In this regard, we see the airstrike by the aircraft of this coalition illegally against the Syrian Arab army in the Jabal Tharda in the city of Deir ez on 17 September 2017 in an attempt to protect uh, ISIL elements uh, falling between uh, Syrian and Iraqi territory and opening a corridor for them. Today's aggression aimed at uh, um, saving the Jabhat al-Nusra following the grave damage that uh, was done to them by the Syrian Arab army and its allies in the center of the country following their attack on cities and peaceful villages in the region. Let me also stress that media reports tell us that the U.S. Congress uh, uh, some time ago approved a law uh, allowing the U.S. administration to send man pads to armed uh, terrorist groups in Syria. We have warned only two days ago in this very council that these colonialist permanent member states and the Security Council, the three colonialists have a renewed appetite to renew their lies and their stories that have been spread by the United States and the United Kingdom 14 years ago in this very hall to justify the destruction and occupation of Iraq using a major lie being WMDs. Perhaps history has come full circle now in a regrettable scenario. When we saw Secretary of State Colin Powell at the time trying to delude the international community and the United Nations to justify the aggression of his country against Iraq by talking about highly credible information, today the United States of America in its policy in an attempt to justify its aggression against Syria is using fabricated information provided by the Jabhat al-Nusra terrorists. This aggression incontrovertibly proves that uh, uh, Syria has been correct that uh, successive uh, American administrations will not change their sterile policies, uh, which is to target states, to make uh, uh, peoples kneel to their will and spread hegemony around the world. The international public opinion, the uh, people of the free world have no doubt that uh, successive United States, uh, UK and uh, French administrations for decades have not cared for democracy or freedom or human rights, indeed, let alone the well-being of peoples or their security and stability. These are just pretexts to wage war, to occupy other states, to divide them, to control their wealth and energy resources. What is truly disgusting today is that these governments that supported the Wahhabi thinking, the terrorist extremist ideology of the Al Saud entity since its creation is today uh, orchestrating uh, um, uh, terrorism and uh, um, investing in it without any care for the lives of people, even their own peoples, when terrorism reached their own threshold. We've been listening to the uh, Deputy uh, Syrian Ambassador to the United Nations, Mansour. Mansour, he's speaking right now a very, very different assessment, clearly, than what the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, uh, just reported, and earlier, the Russian Ambassador to the U.N. Security Council. Lots to uh, 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 to unpack right now, I want to bring in our panel of experts. Joining us, our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo.